All right, backseaters. I am just getting everything ready here so that we could go out on patrol. I want to thank Kyle uh, Mestad for bringing me up live here. We'll give it a few minutes as people join us. I am on the east side of St. Paul on Payne Avenue. One of the things that happens during Live on Patrol, today there was an attempt, but it was a short one, was people see where you're driving and they say, hey, can you pick me up some food from this place or that place? And uh, usually it's, we can't do it because we're too busy doing Live on Patrol. Sounds good, I'm headed that way. Welcome to Live on Patrol for Monday. I'm under Sheriff Mike Martin, and we are in Ramsey County in the state of Minnesota, and we are in the city of St. Paul, the capital city of Minnesota. Uh, I am an under sheriff with the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office. We uh, patrol an area with roughly 500,000 people. Um, about half of Ramsey County is the city of St. Paul, and the rest are the suburbs and our contract cities. And we are the primary responders in those contract cities. just sitting here for a minute because there's a school bus letting off kids at the corner. Forty four seventy traffic. Forty four seventy. East thirty six at White Bear. Mary Union George. Three zero five. It's been kind of a uh, steady morning and afternoon so far. I wouldn't call it busy, but it's uh, it's been steady. Plenty for everyone to do. We had a staff meeting this morning where we uh, all of the uh, command staff for the sheriff's office, we meet to talk through things, make sure we're all on the same page, and uh, it gives everyone a chance to hear what's going on in the other divisions uh, within the sheriff's office, within patrol and the jail and uh, community outreach and uh, you name it, investigations, so we can all kind of talk uh, through struggles we're facing, talk about personnel issues, and uh, it's a good way to start the week and make sure we're all singing from the same sheet of music. We're on Jesse Street right now in Maryland, and we're going to turn here and go eastbound. But uh, traffic's pretty brutal right now. And it's not like it used to be. People aren't friendly. They don't let you in like they used to. 271 traffic. So you kind of got to stick your nose out. And West 196 at push Pleasant it. with Kilo Bravo Sierra 784. Yeah. 
So hopefully you had a chance to watch us on Friday night. Um, that accident towards the end of the night was, you, you can't describe it. The, it looked like a tornado went down for literally a block and a half. Uh, that car, that truck was going so fast that it smashed into about a dozen cars before it rolled over into someone's yard and um, the suspect fled. And uh, fortunately there were apparently no serious injuries. Um, but it wrecked a lot of cars and made uh, the street a mess. Started with a uh, a pursuit up so in Maplewood. Seventeen hundred, right? There's a person inside the store stealing and refusing to leave. It's a fifty-eight-year-old black male. He's wearing a blue hoodie. One of uh, our deputies saw a group of cars that were driving recklessly. He attempted to pull over one. That vehicle fled. Um, but it was fleeing at such a high rate of speed that he decided it was too unsafe, so he terminated. Then another one of our deputies saw it uh, in the Central District, and again it was fleeing uh, so fast that they decided that it was too uh, dangerous to continue to pursue it. And then about five, seven minutes later, the sheriff saw it fly by him. He didn't pursue it either because it was going so fast on a uh, residential road. And then after a couple of minutes, the call came out that it crashed. So, and if you look at the Live On Patrol uh, Facebook page, you'll see... 5930. Some pictures uh, from the scene, but it was a pretty significant accident there. Which just goes to show the, um, you know, the decision making that has to go on with officers and deputies uh, all the time about pursuing vehicles and factors like traffic and pedestrians at the time of day and are you by a school and are you know or is it are the speeds so fast that it's just inherently dangerous uh, all those kind of things the weather um, and uh, sorry your call coming out there. Can you repeat the target address? Mine and pending and all back. Agent 95 can be 1250 Imperial Lane. So uh, that was a new Brighton squad, and they were got a call. They were looking for some backup, and uh, but we are very far away. Anyway, as much as we want to apprehend offenders, especially career offenders and people that are putting the public at risk, we don't want to enhance the risk. By pursuing them, if it's going to... 65 Victoria Street North, apartment 224, systematics, 74-year-old male with a wrapped harp and her right. If it's going to create a, a danger to the general public. And yeah, even though it was late at night and there wasn't much traffic, uh, when people are driving that fast on residential roads, you know, in excess of 100 miles an hour... Just not worth it. Yeah. So we're 
eastbound on Maryland Avenue. We are at Johnson Parkway right now, kind of coming into the, the further east side of the east side. New Brighton, eighty seven ten. Eighty seven ten. We've got one at the PD. Uh, we're going to meet with you to do a DNA sample. So you probably heard that call, that a uh, citizen call to be assist with a DNA sample. I'm assuming that's a court-ordered sample that they need to come in and get. Sometimes it's a civil court. Or it could be a criminal court that where they uh, are required to give a DNA sample, and the officers will be there and have a packet that has what they need to do it. And it's just a quick uh, swab of the inside of the person's mouth, They're inside their cheeks, and then they seal it up and send it off. Info to squads, uh, states and routes, two people fighting on northbound 35E between 96 and County Ridge Echo on the side of the road. Huh. That's a little unusual to have a fight up there on the interstate on the side of the road. Not a very safe place to be fighting. Twenty-two six seven. Twenty-two six seven. You start me in AOA. Don't expect has a fight up thirty-five E and E. Harris's 
also the uh, there's a fight at Irondale High School, but they uh, the school resource officer and most likely staff broke up the fight, and uh, they asked for another squad to come and probably mainly for backup for the officer that's there, and if he needs. Transport yeah. any of the people involved. So I'm just looking at the uh, the call at Irondale High School. It just says fight, so there's no real details in there. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, this time of year. This time of year, the a lot of kids get restless. And, Okay, 720, he's code for it, Arendelle. We have more. Yeah, Seems to be more fights and disagreements. Copy. I'm not sure. And unfortunately, they often will exacerbate those by posting threats on social media or disrespectful posts. Last part of your number, go ahead. That doesn't make it any better. Sorry, Amnesia. Call forward. Uh, also, can you send a line up? Uh, sorry, I know. Uh, hot, broken finger. Um, do you come with a lights or any sounds? Copy. What door are they needed at? Door one. Just remain. We're just over here, off of Wilson. Got some complaints earlier today uh, about some increased activity over. 52A3 Tango clear. Kind of in this Battle Creek area. And so I'm going to roll, roll through a couple spots. Two two six seven control. We're going over to data. Copy control. So 
the weather today is nice. It's about, I don't know, 67 and it's cloudy, but for this time of year, it's nice. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Yesterday was unbelievably beautiful. Hopefully we can keep the streak of good weather going. It's nice to see the, the grass starting to green up and people outside. Makes it a lot more fun to be out driving around. Writing someone a ticket, and it sounds like someone just backed yeah. into them. Which uh, generally is no good for either party. The squad getting damaged, and the uh, other individual saying, Oh my goodness, I can't believe I backed into a police car. But, uh. But there's a reason they call them accidents. Nobody wants to put up with that. I've got a county deputy going there to take a report. Can I start an outside agency? Hey, So we're over here off of Ruth and uh, Suburban. I think I'm going to turn here. There's a little bit of a traffic mess up because there's so much construction going on. So you may have heard it, but the uh, supervisor asked for an, an outside agency to investigate that accident involving the squad. That's uh, not unusual if there's agencies, if there's someone available to do it just to, um, you know, make sure that it's the investigation is uh, unbiased and Especially if the uh, one of the drivers is clearly at fault in the case. Oh, 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 oh. And there's going to be a need to maybe write a ticket or make an arrest if the person doesn't have a license or whatever. It's always good just to have an outside agency to remove it any appearance of impropriety. That's a big word for 44, me. 42. Especially today with, uh, 44, 42. it's so dry out. We change this to a suspicious and clear me GOA. Okay. Uh, Max 
Macintosh, thanks for uh, watching us. We appreciate it. It's good to hear from people that are uh, staking out other parts of the world. It's easy for us all to kind of get in our own cocoons. And, um, I can change my call to Burger Storage yet. Right. It's fun to see that other people are interacting yeah, with us. 5036, code 4. New message. I see somebody posted that the northern suburbs. 2477 arrived. Can I have a CM, please? fix it yesterday. It only took about an hour, ten tools, and about a hundred swear words, but I was able to uh, fix the roof on that. And we'll be able to test it out. Bound on I ninety four. We're going through the east side of St. Paul and coming up to the central district. Do you think I would get in trouble? I, one of my pet peeves is when people graffiti and they spell words wrong. And uh, do you think I'd get in trouble if I just got out and corrected their grammar? 
on the graffiti. I mean, I'd like to see it get removed, but at least you can spell people right. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Dustin's right. They will graffiti all over that beautiful wood wall, and it'll look horrible for a while, and then they'll spend a lot of money to sandblast it and repaint over it. And, We are on 7th, on East 7th, but going in toward downtown. for the damage that people were doing and um, it was always amazing to me that they were all so entitled and believed they could just graffiti on other people's property and like they were making some big social commentary by writing their name on a wall try to build their own self-esteem and within the tagger community but um, unfortunately in the process they would damage things that other people had worked hard for and uh, we did we did get to enjoy busting one live on patrol one day. I don't know if I'd call it fun, but it was interesting. And I had a, a good talk with that young man's father afterwards.
Here now that I'm in it would the, appear that the comp is at uh, 830 Robert Street. I'll go there with our keys. Because we moved into the Central District, I changed radio channels, but we're still scanning all the channels for the county, for the city, metro-wide, statewide, in case something kicks off. Please, thank you.
this time of year even because it's so nice is motorcycles come out I haven't seen many today but boy on uh, Friday night there were motorcycles everywhere can you give me a number for theft are you close for and of course the way people drive they need uh you gotta be careful when you're on a motorcycle. These people are often distracted on their phones. And it's really dangerous. Thanks, Mounds, for the assistance. So the <laughs> squads are clear over at Irondale High School. The SRO uh, said he did a report in Mounds for you. PD, which is the adjacent suburb, assisted as well, which is great. The, those agencies have a great cooperative relationship. And the caller, sorry, front desk is maybe they're not cooperative. they get there quick and get some time is key to get help for someone who's having a stroke for people that are on some type 
of intense uh, supervision. And they check on them, make sure they're not using alcohol or drugs or not home when they're supposed to be and that kind of stuff and just touch base with them. 5282. 5282. Clear PT, we're taking the call at the PD lobby. Next, I have you on that call. the light rail platforms because they you know a lot of people loiter on them and there's that leads to issues
these light rail tracks run from downtown St. Paul down to uh, the Target field where the Twins play in Minneapolis. They go right by U.S. Bank Stadium. And by U.S. Bank Stadium, you can switch trains and go down to the Mall of America and the airport on the blue line, I believe it is there. This is the green line here. But the light rail's been plagued lately by uh, loitering and drug dealing, drug use, harassing. Headed that way, but I don't want to go 
too fast because I want to hear which direction it's going so that we can try to intercept it. I'm at Twin Lakes in Fairview. Which spot is that? The vehicle went eastbound right in front of where 5230 was about 30 seconds at most before he got out there after that roundabout. All we know is the suspect name of Byron. Additionally, we'll take a female officer to the scene if we have one for a search, please. Second in custody. Mm -hmm. So we're going to head down here. Um, hey, three seconds. Looking for a car that fled from a traffic stop, it sounds like uh, there was someone in the car that took off in it while the, sounds like they had the driver out, so we're looking for a black Lincoln town car. The vehicle came from the key in. It's been staying there. In case it tries to circle back there to get back to a room. car previously at a motel in Roseville. Thanks, sir. So they put that info out. So we'll see what we can. It'll be a while. Here. We'll be south to our border, border to uh, check out 
area for Roseville. going to be a stolen vehicle. It's going to be a passenger in the vehicle that jumped in the driver's seat and fled. So all we have on them is fleeing at this point in time. So this, uh, they conducted a traffic stop. They must have had the driver out of the vehicle and a male passenger jumped in the driver's seat and took off in the car uh, that they had stopped. So they, uh, the offense would be fleeing from the traffic stop but it's not a stolen car. So. So I'm going to go this way. Because I know it's easy to go check the same places I was going to check there. So I'm going to go the opposite direction. We're still plugging along here looking for that Lincoln that fled from the traffic stop. We'll see. Uh, it's a Lincoln Town car. Let's see if we can't find it.
They believed, excuse me, believe that car came out through this way, uh, eastbound and on Iona, and then most likely out to Fairview. So we'll keep checking the area here.
it today. Maybe we'll trip across it. That was not a black one, so they said it was black and with heavily tinted windows. So Still in the city of Roseville, but soon we will be in the city of New Brighton. Target, 3800 Lexington Avenue, North on 8th Ave. Key member was caught stealing. Pressing on through Copy. city of New Brighton and look at some of the big apartment buildings here that might uh, where this vehicle may have gone you can see uh, probably see that New Brighton squad sitting there playing border patrol another one. Just checking the uh, northern border between the two cities. I would guess looking for the same car we are. Actually that was a Roseville squad.
Just as info, we were approached by someone that said there might be a slumber in a black Volkswagen near AMC. Uh, we're unable to check it out right now. Kia there, but it did not have any broken windows. So whenever I see a Kia, I think of the Chia Pet song. Well, we did our 360 around the apartments here. And did not find the car. Did find a lone trumpeter there. We'll continue to look here. There was there were other cars that I'm also looking for at the same time, of course. Two six seven. I start with the PIC. Well, I, back I appreciate your uh, a PIC for a person sitting on the bridge. Uh, Four Appreciate your uh, riding along with me this afternoon. Unfortunately, it was pretty uneventful, and um, but you never know what tomorrow brings. So thank you. And uh, Wednesday should be the cat guys and gals. I think it's guys uh, this Wednesday out and about patrolling. And uh, I may be out with them as well. So thanks again. Thanks for your support. And remember to be kind to each other.